Let's dump it in. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, as you can see. Yep, it's quite smoky. It's working. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Tuesday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is how to create smoke. Let's get it. By the way, all the tutorials and life hacks right here. Watch them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my love special worth and living to the max. Let, <laughs> let me try to get back with a sweet, sweet video. In the last one, so lame. Oh my god, I tried this idea with the soldering iron, but you need more power. You need way more power. As I said, I want to create a lot of smoke, thick smoke. I want it to be cheap and non-toxic. So I settled for, you know, regular fog juice, which is commonly used in fog machines. But, I, you know, I want to achieve the same thing without a fog machine. The thing with fog machines is they have a metal mass in them. Well, they have this coil where the fog juice will go through and it is embedded in aluminum mostly. So it has a lot of thermal capacity. It will take quite a while to heat up. But once it's on temperature, then you can, you know, inject smoke and, you know. But if you have no thermal capacitor, you need way more power to achieve it. Maybe this will give us the power. Let's find out. This is the most powerful soldering pot that I found. Let's turn it on and let's see what we can do. And this will get hot very, very quickly and it's... Yeah, yep. Let's freaking go. There is a bit of mass to this. So I will just dump this liquid right here, right in there. I think this might actually, you know, work. Okay, I just dial it in to 350 degrees centigrade. This goes all the way up to 450. I think this should do. Fog machines, they usually, I think they do like 200 and like close to 300 degrees if I'm, if I remember this correctly. One day I will build myself my own fog machine, but for now I need a workaround. Talking about cheap, this thing cost me 25 bucks. Actually a cheap fog machine probably runs you, like will cost you the same. Why are my videos so stupid? Oh God, let's dump it in. Oh wow. <laughs> That went horribly wrong. <laughs> Everything just ended up on my table. And as I said in the last one, this stuff is kind of sticky. So that's a pain in the butt already. <laughs> that was so stupid. So this is where it, where it all went. Oh my God. Oh my God. Freaking heck. Totally smoking. Damn, this is, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so I can put this thing anywhere. Okay, let's dump in another drop of fog juice. This is way better. Oh yeah, I like that. Dumping. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go. It's not really thick, super thick smoke. But this is actually working quite nicely. That's awesome. I like that. Yeah, it's like you definitely won't die if you breathe it in. It's smelling kind of burnt, but it's it's not too bad. It's actually not too bad. So another win right there. Oh my God, I can't put it anywhere. Yeah, as you can see. Yep, it's quite smoky. Especially if you, you know, if it's, if there is a light source. And there's just so little fog juice in there. But this stuff is fogging like crazy. Oh my god. It's working. That is so funny. Wow. Nice. Let's go. That's what I wanted. And now for one more experiment. Let's fill it up a bit more. I want to see this stuff. Heat up. Is that even possible? I want to get this stuff boiling. Oh my God. It's apparently not even possible. I guess when it turns into smoke, it will just extract so much energy and so much heat. So let's just... Okay. Oh, rip sound. God damn it. Hey, we're back with a regular sound. Not quite was what I was expecting. <laughs> But yeah, it does create smoke, so 
That's cool. Oh my god, it will also mess up everything. Ah! What a stupid idea. I hate myself. Oh, actually, I can just turn it off. That would work. Yeah, let's go. That turned out great. Okay, I just ruined my table. I completely messed it up. Mmm, no. This stuff is oily and sticky. So this is how it's done. Oh my god. I'm such a genius. Smash the like button the way I want to smash my stupid ideas. Or actually the way I'm getting smashed by my stupid ideas. Well anyways, bang the bell like crap pa, to never miss godlike tutorials. Check the reasonings on chrisviral.com and that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.